it's spooky season. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Trevor. Welcome back to my channel. Spooktober is finally upon us. I've designed my set this whole afternoon and getting ready for the spooky season. And in the month of October, I'm going to try to do as much horror content as I can from first time watch reviews, first time watch reactions, and rankings such as these. Today I'm giving you guys my favorite horror movie from every year I've been alive. I'm 22 years old. There's 22 movies. I have not seen every horror movie. I've only seen the first Scream. It is my favorite horror movie of all time. I have not seen the sequels to those, and I have not seen lots of sequels to the Halloween movies and lots of movies coming out. So if some of these horror movies are not on my list it's okay that they're on yours let me know your guys list down below in the comment section or let me know just a couple favorite horror movies of yours from the last 20 years from the last 10 years from the last couple years let me know all that down below in the comment section again this is one man's opinion just sharing with you guys um you can kind of see the theme this year is it and i got my pennywise shirt on so I'm sure you're gonna see it on this list, but let me know your guys' list down below, and we're gonna have lots more horror videos coming. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're starting off with 1999. Buckle up, get some popcorn. It's gonna be a long video. And one final thing before we get started, I'm not gonna be talking too much about all these movies because there is 22. It's gonna be a longer video. The first couple of these, we're kind of gonna kind of breeze through because not that great. Just the best one that came out from that year. So starting off with 1999. Go on the Sixth Sense, M. Night Shyamalan. I apparently, I like M. Night Shyamalan more than I thought, but, um, because he's got kind of quite a few movies on this list. But the Sixth Sense, obviously, with a big kind of, like, twist ending. I think it's the most spoiled ending of all time, but it's interesting enough. I have only seen this movie once. I don't ever, probably will never go back and rewatch it, but it's probably the best movie that came out in horror from 1999. 2000. I'm going Final Destination. I like the Final Destination movies, people. I'm sorry. They're kind of like these fun, stupid, just absurd movies. People who escape death. So death is coming after them. That's an interesting concept to me. If you guys have seen this movie, you know they're crazy. They're absurd. They're gory. And they're kind of fun. So made the list. 2001. Going Jeepers Creepers. Just all I'm going to say. I saw this when I was a young kid. It scared the hell out of me. So on the list people i'm sorry 2002 going killian murphy's 28 days later now i watched this probably about 10 years ago now as a kid but i remember watching this as a kid with all my friends we used to be scared we used to be freaked out this post-apocalyptic world it was interesting i like these post-apocalyptic worlds with this like zombie-esque type movies that are kind of titled horror movies i enjoy there's a couple more of those on this list killian murphy if you haven't seen 28 days later definitely check it out 2003 you guessed it got final destination 2 this one is i'm probably the most like known one because like the logs on the truck no one drives behind log trucks anymore on those freeways you know those big log trucks never drive one behind those again because i saw this movie and scarred me for life so thank you final destination 2 for doing that to me these movies kind of repeat themselves so after this one there's not going to be another one on this list but they're still fun to watch and every time i see the log truck i try i promise you i think of this movie so i guess i have it to thank for that 2004 one of my favorite horror movies of all time saw james wan and lee winnell they connected for one of this masterpiece of a horror film and i i can't get over how good it is with one of the best twist endings a twist ending that kind of comes out of nowhere i like how they have to figure out why they're there lee winnell does have some acting chops he's the co-star in this film it's kind of scary it has a smaller budget and just keeps this eerie vibe throughout i really do dig it it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time if you don't like saw get out of my face i'm just kidding but come on yeah, you know, I saw. Then we're going 2005. You have Saw 2. The Needle Pit. Need I say more? Good God. Moving on, 2006. This one's kind of funny. Monster House. I was scared of this movie as a kid. I remember watching it all the time as a kid. You got, literally, I'm not joking. The animated Monster House. I was scared of this movie as a kid. I have not watched it in many years. But I, I remember watching it all the time. I thought it was kind of funny, but definitely scary. The house is like alive. has like a fruit roll-up tongue. Whoa whoa man then moving on to 2007 paranormal activity i'm a i'm a sucker for the paranormal activity movies i'm not too sure why they gravitate to me and the first one to me is the most realistic one we might have a couple more of these on the list but the first one to me is scary realistic it's like a smaller budget film it feels like you're like walking around with people they're filming it on their phone and when the gals yelling the guy's name mika i believe his name is oh my gosh it's 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 bone chilling it scares the hell out of me i mean the ending she throws the dude at the camera and just bang no, don't do it to me. God, it uh, it honestly it, it terrified the hell out of me as a kid, and it kind of kind of still haunts me to this day. I like the paranormal activity movies; they're scary. The paranormal world, that shit's scary to me. Then we're moving on to 2008, The Strangers, one of the most realistic horror movies I have ever seen because 
Based on true story, Liv Tyler is our co-star. He's two people, probably one of the most underrated horror movies of all time here, people. It's about two people who are trying about to get engaged, and then she says no. They go back to his cabin where he has it all set up nicely. He goes out for smokes. These three scary people with masks start haunting them, and they literally, she's like, why are you doing this to us? And their answer is, because you were home. It's terrifying, has lots of scares that you don't think are going to happen. You're literally not expecting any of them. And all of a sudden, the scares just come. They're jump scares, and it's intense, and it's scary. And, I mean, there's lots of emotions going and flying high through this film. Um, Liv Tyler does a great job. The Strangers, probably one of the most underrated horror movies of all time. Then, with 2009, there's two movies on here. First, I'm going to say Zombieland because I love Zombieland. It's not a horror movie. It's a comedy, but has zombies in it so kind of counts as a horror movie but i'm gonna go orphan there's something wrong with esther if you guys have seen this movie it's it's bad shit crazy and i've only seen it once it wasn't all that scary but it was definitely like whoa and that indian like i don't want to say it but vera formiga i believe i say name is she's from the country movie she's great in these like horror type movies and orphan was it was a freaky movie when i saw the trailer as a kid i was like i don't want to watch this but then i watched it and esther i've only met one esther in my life She's a very nice woman, but she still scares me. I saw a bad movie. But Orphan, if you guys haven't seen it, definitely recommend it. And Zombieland. How do you not love Zombieland? We're trying to zoom through these, but as we get into more of these, we're going to come in more recent ones that everyone has seen. And we're going to talk about them just a little bit more. But 2010, there's the obvious choice, which is Insidious. And everyone loves Insidious. And trust me, I do too. I love James Wan. I'm going the crazies. And if you guys haven't seen the crazies, it, you're not really missing much it's just one that i watched with friends all the time when i was 11 years old when this movie came out and we watched it on netflix like on a streaming netflix when this all kind of started happening and we were just like scared and we were freaked out and honestly it was one of those movies that like you watch with the friends that are like scary but you laugh at that's what the memories i have with this movie i've watched it probably five times in my life and every time i go through a car wash if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about every time i go through a car wash it's not for me but i i actually really do enjoy the crazy it's um it's a crazy movie. The crazies is crazy. Who's, who would have guessed? 2011, we have two movies here. First one, Cabin in the Woods. I, I've seen it once. I'm not as big a fan as everyone else is. I know lots of people love this movie, which is fair. Young Chris Hemsworth, not as good looking as he is now. We've got young Chris Hemsworth in there. People out of Cabin, and everything's kind of getting pulled with the strings by some sadistic people. I'm going Paranormal Activity 3. It's like a prequel of like these girls and what's following them and the... Dude, I, I can't tell you how freaked out I was. I had to have my older brother watch this with me and my three friends. So you need to come watch this with us. He had already seen it, and he was like, I don't want to watch this, guys. So I had lots of like, little memories with these kind of horror movies, but the Paranormal Activity movies were scary, and two wasn't very good, but three with the grandma lady. You know who I'm talking about. Hate her. I hated her so much. Uh, Paranormal Activity 3, very scary. Cabin in the Woods, I might need to give that a rewatch and see, if my, see if my thoughts change on it. 2012. Paranormal Activity 4. This one is like crazy because I'm pretty sure you get the characters from like the other movies back. I believe her name is Katie. Who like the kind of characters in all these movies. I believe she comes back in the picture in this one. And it's starring this girl and her like boyfriend who are very likable people. And I mean the boyfriend's head literally gets like turned around. It was kind of get a little more absurd as they go on. But again, I like the Paranormal Activity movies. I have them all. I will probably watch them all and rank them in the month of October. But Paranormal Activity 4. I, I dug it. I dug it quite a bit. 2013, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, The Conjuring, James Wan's probably masterpiece. This one does such a good job of pulling you in, sucking you in, and never letting you go, because that's exactly what this movie does. It holds on to you, and it's terrifying, and James Wan does such a good job with these paranormal type movies. We saw him do with Insidious, Insidious 2, and in the horror genre, he would go to Saw. Then we come to this, and I mean, The Conjuring, I re-watched it this year, back in July, when the new Conjuring movie came out, and it not only scared me, but I just remembered how terrified I was watching this as a kid. Very realistic. James Wan knows how to do it. And honestly, Patrick Wilson damn near could have got an Oscar nomination for him when he's performing the exorcism. You know what I'm talking about. Whoa. Whoa, man. It got me good. 2014, Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. This one's kind of like one of those movies, like, you sit with your friends, you laugh at, because... You ever play zombies with your friends? You're shooting a shotgun with like pack a punch, and you're just shooting these guys everywhere. That's where this movie kind of goes. And his family, who it kind of latches on this one guy. He's scary and he's powerful, and they like beat people up. And again, these movies kind of go absurd. They kind of go dumb. No one really likes this movie. I do, I do, I do indeed. Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. You know why not? 2015. I'm going M Night Shyamalan again. 2015 was kind of a weaker year for horror. I'm going The Visit. Um, would you like to get in my oven? Honestly, it's kind of all I really remember about this film. I don't. I am not Shyamalan. Apparently, apparently I like him. Maybe. I don't know, but apparently, uh, apparently I like him. 2016, Conjuring 2. 
This one is scarier than the first one. It's kind of the same as this first one, same setup, same build, but they're in London this time around. What always scares me about these movies is when they show the tapes and when we listen to them at the end of the movie, I'm like, whoo, ha, that's so scary. Is that scary to anyone? I mean, scary to me and... The Conjuring 2 does a very good job. It's much scarier. I remember I got jumped several times, rewatched this one back in July before the new Conjuring came out, and I was jumping, I was had my eyes covered. It was a very scary, thought-provoking movie. And I hadn't seen The Conjuring 2 in years. I rewatched it, scared the crap out of me, and it's very formulaic to the first one, but they're in London this time around, and Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, they have such good characters, and I mean I love them, so. Country 2 is terrifying. 2017, if you can see by the set, we have the Losers Club, we have Pennywise, we got Pennywise on the shirt, and we have Swear if Favorite Comes Back, we come back too. We're going It. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. Stick around for our top 10 horror video before the end of the month. I absolutely love this movie. Not only is it funny, it does do a good job of scaring you, it does do a good job of keeping you invested, and these characters are very, very likable. I didn't see the TV spot back in the day. I tried to watch it once. It wasn't really for me. Maybe you go back and rewatch it, but I love this It so much. I remember the trailers being so scary. I watched this in a 250-person packed theater on a $5 movie Tuesday. And we were all jumping. Pennywise is scary. What a nice poker. Do you want it back? Oh my gosh, she's terrifying. I love Pennywise a lot, as you can tell. It, 2017. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. 2018. Going Halloween, Michael Myers is back. I've only seen the original Halloween and this Halloween, and I'm excited for the new Halloween. But a very nice looking horror film, shot very nicely. And the only thing I didn't like about this movie is like, Michael Myers gets hit, obviously he can't die. And I guess that's the point of the movie. He can't die, so I guess he can't not like it. So, the one's probably gonna be, well, exactly what the trailer gave us. So, looking forward to it, I suppose. 2019. I'm going ready or not. Not a lot of people really talk about it. I really went under the radar. She goes into this family on our wedding night. They have this game. They all play game. And she picks a game, a card, and it's hide and seek. And they have to hide. And whoever they want to find her, they kill her. That's what it is. It doesn't happen often. But, oh, my gosh, what a twisted movie. And, and honestly, it's like one of those movies where you're like, go, 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 go. You're rooting for these characters. You want her to succeed against this terrible family who... That's this crazy night. It's like a purge movie with a family and they're all locked in a house together. And it's not really that scary, but it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's definitely a thrill ride and really, really good. I forget the gal's name who stars in this and uh, she does a great job. 2020. There's two horror movies on here. First one is Invisible Man with Elizabeth Moss. Absolutely fantastic movie. But I'm going to go host. It was on the Shutter app, only about an hour long. It took place as like either in a pandemic. It was made, produced, written, everything, and directed during the pandemic and it takes place all on here on a little computer screen and my goodness it's one of the scariest movies i've ever seen in my life people i mean i was jumped i could not keep my eyes on the screen i literally felt like i was there with them because i watched it on my goddamn computer it scared the absolute bejesus out of me host is very very scary one of the scariest movies i've ever seen going into 2021 we're talking fast we're going into it people but this year I have two. James Wan's Malignant, which I absolutely love. The character Gabriel is absolutely is crazy. It's like a paranormal and slasher film, and Gabriel is going to be one of the most famous slashers to ever come. We're going to love him. I'm going Fear Street Part 2. I absolutely love this film. I love the prequel nature. I love this camp setting vibe. I haven't seen a lot of horror movies that set a camp or slasher movies. I'm very new to the slasher genre. This one did something for me. I love the first Fear Street. The third Fear Street is fine. But the Fear Street 2 is what just, I don't know what, I couldn't keep my eyes off the screen. I loved it the most. This is the only one I want to go back and rewatch this Halloween season. I absolutely loved it. It's terrifying that this camp, and there's a really good twist in it, a very good character. She plays Mad Max and Stranger Things. I love this movie. It's my favorite horror movie of 2021 so far. And that's going to do it for all the horror movies of, of my life. 22 of these. Longer video. Definitely lots of these movies. Let me know what horror movies you guys have seen. Let me know what videos you guys want to see for the month of October down below in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm out of breath. I need some water. Scary season. Spooky season. See you guys next time. Peace.